Hey everyone, Christopher here, and welcome back to the Boldly Grow Homestead. I was out here watering the garden with mischief, so I thought I'd give you a, an impromptu uh, tour of the side garden. I'll do the, the main garden at a different day. What do you think? Sound good? She likes it out here. Let's go. Homesteading, the original frontier. These are the adventures of the Boldly Grow Homestead. Its continuing mission to coexist with the environment, to find new plant varieties and new inspirations, to boldly grow like no one has grown before. Alrighty, coming around here to the side garden, we have a little raspberry bush. Um, it's first year in, so I don't expect anything from it, but it looks nice and healthy. So I'm happy to happy to see that. Let's see over here. We have, what do we got here? We got a red noodle bean coming up. Um, the cucumbers all failed. The first round never came up. Second round got nibbled on right away. Um, maybe I'll grab a, a start at some point, but uh, for now I got some beans here. Uh, we got a scarlet runner bean, looking nice. Really enjoying the, the sun we've had this week. I'm gonna have to start training that on the trellis though. The pride and joy of this side, the snap peas, sugar snap peas. We got our first bloom a couple days ago, and now they're just starting to get loaded. So hopefully we'll be uh, having some sugar snap peas soon. Let's see, we got a couple bush beans here, and it looks like the wing bean that I gave up on might actually be coming up now. Same for the one in the back. I planted those long, long time ago and they never came up, but maybe this week of mid to high 80s is finally what it needed. Um, but yeah, these, these uh, pole beans are starting to look good, so uh, hopefully they'll take off. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got a little mini pumpkin patch here. I gotta thin that out. Um, I just hate to take away the uh, three out of the four plants, but not gonna grow much bigger otherwise. Got a patty pan squash looking nice and then zucchini here taking off since I removed its uh its little companion there so uh hopefully we'll be getting zucchinis in the uh, coming weeks. Uh none of the sunflowers seem to have made it in the back there so the ones that uh popped up from the second round also got eaten at the same time as the cucumbers so Again, I don't know if it's worth trying again at this point, under protection or, or what. So, that's the side garden. Um, nothing yet harvesting from it, but I think we'll, we're in good shape. So, uh, let me know how your garden's doing. Alright, so that was a short little tour, but hope you enjoyed it. It's uh, nice to see things starting to grow out here. Again, I'll do the main bed in a little bit. Um, I got all the water running over there right now, so I don't want to bring the camera over. But uh, yeah, we harvested our first, literal, literally first couple of strawberries yesterday. Uh, two tiny ones. Um, one for me, one for the daddy-o. And might not have been a big harvest, but it was delicious. So uh, we have a couple more ripening, and um, you know, hopefully they'll continue to produce. I believe we picked up a... Um, ever bearing variety, but we'll see. You know, it's year one, so to get anything off them feels pretty good. Um, and I put in some pepper starts. None of my peppers that I planted from seed made it, but that's not too surprising if you check out the Farmer's Almanac. They have no recommended time for direct seeding peppers and tomatoes in my uh, zone of 5B, so uh, it was sort of a crapshoot from the beginning, but you know can't do it if you don't try. So we got some uh, pepper starts in the other day and we put some pepper, uh, tomato starts in uh, a couple weeks ago. Um, yeah, so hope you all are having a nice time out in the garden. Uh, if you enjoy this video, uh, be sure to uh, like, share, subscribe, comment below, and uh, don't forget to boldly grow. Mm -hmm.